Ghostbusters that is coming out soon. Uh, the new Ghostbusters 3 movie. These will go pretty fast. <laughs> Going to Toy Mate, I really want to find the new Ultimate Warrior Royal Rumble. Um, I don't know if it's an Elite or not, but uh, it's the new Royal Rumble figure. Last time an Ultimate Warrior figure came out, I did buy it for $25 right when it first came out. I brought two, kept one for myself for my Ultimate Warrior collection, flogged the other one off for 100 bucks. that sold in two weeks. I've got a feeling that uh, it's not karma, that's the reselling world. Uh, I'm probably going to end up having to buy it off mine and probably pay a hundred bucks, but that's the way it is. Um, if you want something, you'll pay for it. But we're going to go to Toy Mate, we're going to see what other uh, wrestling figures and other toys we can find while we're there uh, to resell and to keep. So um, let's go do a toy hunt. We're going to uh, Toy Mate, this is formerly known uh, as uh, Toys R Us, uh, but Toy Mate and um, let's go see if we can find the Ultimate Warrior and what other uh, figures we can find while we do a little bit of a thrift. Back to the thrift, and I gotta say, I'm enjoying it again. Boy, I love a good day in a toy store. Finding bargains, finding old retro toys, finding everything that they've remade from when I was a kid. Look what we've got here, this official NBA, oh, I was gonna say NBL, NBA basketball collector's board. Comes with two little basketball plastic jerseys. Uh, I'm gonna, five dollars, I'm gonna grab it. Not to resell, I don't, I'm not even looking up the comps. Not to resell, just hope I get a Pelicans one. Uh, we'll find out when we get home. We'll open that. We'll open that up and we'll have a look, skis, because uh, I want to get a Pelicans one. Uh, we got here $50, marked down to $50, Power Rangers. Uh, Power Rangers Beast Morphers. I did look up the comps on these and they're only selling for about $40 to $45, some $50. So not worth buying. Uh, not worth making some money on here. I guess we're doing an RA shop then, really, isn't it? Retail arbitrage. All right, so we keep going here. Um, I've got the pop section. I like having a look at the pops. Look at these uh, Ninja Turtle diecast uh, series. These were $25 each, and unfortunately on the comps, uh, they only sell for $20 to $25 each as well. So uh, here at Toy Mate, uh, looks like um, they've got pretty much eBay covered uh, with the new stuff. but. We love looking through here anyway. Uh, here's a big monster. It's a fucking monster Pikachu. So if you were a collector, you definitely grab that. I guess that was $70, $69, $70. Uh, bit rich for my blood. Uh, this is pretty cool. Um, everyone's uh, loving the Mandalorian and uh, little baby Yoda. So that that could that could sell, but um, it's too big. I love these Ninja Turtles. These are based on the movie. Uh, they only had three of the four, but what you want to look for, see, these are $30 each. Um, you can actually get them for $20 brand new on uh, eBay, but you want Casey Jones, so look for Casey Jones. That's the one that you're going to get a few bit more coin for. Harder to find. I would have brought Casey Jones if it was there, but it wasn't. Uh, back to the Future figures. These are pretty damn cool. These were $30 each. Did not bother looking up comments for these because uh, this just took me back to my childhood and um, Biff, I, I loved uh, this Biff toy, but they looked a little bit too cartoonish uh, instead of the real the real look of the figures that I like uh, these days. Uh, but I did like uh, these over here, this Kiss Gene Simmons, the demon, the demon figure, and there was even a Slash one as well, but uh, at $30, $30 each, uh, you know, there wasn't much money uh, in them to resell, and uh, if it was a Paul Stanley one, uh, Star Child, I would have brought it. That is a goddamn cool Teen Wolf figure, but $40, uh, that's pretty expensive for my blood, uh, but it did look pretty damn cool. Um, 
any Star Trek fans out there would love this. Everyone knows this uh, monster, but look, look at that. No one's going to buy that, especially for $40. Uh, that was $40. But no one's going to buy this monster from Star Trek, the original, with a broken little bit at the top there. People got to people got to be a bit more careful. A bit more careful. Gremlins 2. <laughs> now that is awesome. That's awesome for any collector. That was 50 bucks. Um, bit expensive this toy store actually. Uh, Ghostface will be something that uh, you should look out for. Thirty dollars was a bit uh, rich as well, but um, with a new Scream movie next uh, year, that will uh, definitely be something that sells. Ghostbusters that is coming out soon. Uh, the new Ghostbusters three movie. These will go pretty fast. These were uh, forty dollars each, uh, unfortunately. So. Uh, I didn't pick them up, but um, they are, they were pretty cool. And if you are uh, thinking about doing some RA for movies that are coming up, Ghostbusters is definitely something that you want to uh, grab and uh, put your hands on. A bunch of show bags there. I don't know why uh, this toy store had show bags, but um, yeah, they're all full of shit. Show bags are full of shit. Um, so let's move on. We love Lego. Everyone loves Lego. Lego is very expensive. Uh, do your research with Lego because there's a lot of Lego that you can get some good money for. Uh, Lego isn't something that I uh, have uh, looked into for myself, but uh, god damn, that Spider-Man uh, world there looked pretty damn cool. Wish I had that when I was a kid. Uh, Kong vs. Godzilla, if you, oh, if you had Kong and Godzilla toys before this movie came out, you would have been laughing, laughing all the way to the toy bank. Uh, so um, they've got those figures out now. It's good old uh, Jurassic Park one's still going strong. But the wrestling section is where we're at, and this is where I wanted to come today. Roman Reigns. This is the new Roman Reigns figure. Uh, the Elite Collection. There's Sheamus as well. Uh, but we don't want Sheamus. We don't want Roman Reigns today. Ah, Angel Garza. Angel Garza. Yeah, everyone knows Diary of a Flipper. This is uh, Diary of a Flipper's favorite uh, wrestler at the moment, Angel Garza. He's looking for a copy for himself as well. So send that to him if uh, you find an Angel Garza. Uh, a blow up, it's a blow up hammer and a blow up fire hydrant so we can hit each other in the head with when we're playing wrestling on the trampoline like when we're kids. Oh damn, that would have been awesome. Fire extinguisher. Oh, I would have loved to have had it in a plastic chair. Would have been brilliant. So we've got some uh, cool figures here. Uh, there's the Islanders, Islanders, Highlanders, whatever the hell you want to call them. The Viking Warriors, fucking whatever their name is now. They keep changing their name. Um, Austin Theory, I can't believe they made a figure for Austin Theory, but uh, it's fair enough. Uh, this Jeff Hardy one, this doesn't really look like Jeff. They've made him too skinny. I don't like that Jeff Hardy figure. And that, we put him back. Not for me. Not for me. Uh, we had some double packs down here I was very interested in, and uh, this Kane versus Edge one I was interested in for my own collection, but that does not look like Edge at all. <laughs> that does not look like Edge. I don't like that figure. I'm putting it back. 30 bucks is a damn good price, though. Um, I can't get it back on the hook, and I don't want to break the uh, cardboard, so we just put it over here in the corner. Uh, fair place to put it. Uh, Ric Flair versus The Big Show, or The Giant, back in WCW, he was The Giant, but everyone knows him as The Big Show, Paul White, uh, Ric Flair, and uh, this could go into my collection, uh, but bingo right here, because anything with The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, The Fiend, is worth money. A little bit of a uh, scuffle there on the side of the box, so uh, we'll go searching to see if there's some uh, any... Uh, supreme uh, conditioned mint conditioned ones in here uh, but uh, some more Ric Flair ones uh, definitely tempting on that one uh, gotta love a good Ric Flair figure for the collection and um, you know what fuck it why not uh, the Fiend if you get the Fiend figures buy them if you get them at a decent price uh, I'm pretty sure we brought the Fiend Elite figure for $35 $40 that sold for $60 this is $30 for a double pack. Haven't even looked up comps yet uh, to see what it is worth. But Daniel Bryan, uh, the other wrestler that is uh, in the double pack with him, his contract's just finished, uh, unless it's a uh, part of the storyline. But um, this one on the corner was no better. But uh, very nice figures. Very nice figures. We moved on to the uh, other wrestling figures down here. These are tiny little mini ones, little mini Undertaker. 
Uh, not bad there, little mini Undertaker, and uh, there's another one of the Viking uh, Raiders. Uh, I don't know what I call them, the Highlanders before. And uh, there's Finn Balor. Uh, he's in uh, NXT now, so hopefully he comes back to the main roster, and when he does, his figures will go off. Uh, what else we got down here? We got uh, little mini uh, wrestling ones. And up the top here, we got the Dean Ambrose. They're going for $15 uh, because he left and went to AEW, so no one wants them. There's heaps of them. Um, and no one wants them ones anymore. So, oh, catches, win matches. Did you see that catch? Catches, win matches. I made sure that uh, figure did not get damaged at all. But oh, would you look at these? You've got plush ones for the girls. They even got plush ones for the girls. There's Sasha Banks. Uh, makes little... Uh, Noises when you press the stomach, which is pretty cool. And we've got UFC figures here as well. Uh, any uh, collector that likes their UFC and all that. We've got Conor McGregor and uh, John Jones. So they were pretty cool, but they were like $40 each. So uh, we put them back. This is the coolest damn Venom mask I've seen. And with Venom 2 coming out, I would uh, I'd recommend uh, getting that if you get it at a good price. Unfortunately, that was 30 bucks there. Couldn't really make any coin off that. But if you see Venom stuff at the moment, uh, get it because um, the second movie's coming out soon and everyone's going to be wanting to buy it. There is a lot of Yodas here. There uh, is a lot of Yodas. Uh, anyone that's brought these Yodas, you probably aren't going to really sell them because uh, the shops are stacked with them because they overbrought with them, I think. Uh, they were hot at the start, but they're not hot now. Uh, here's the Power Rangers. Oh, good old Power Rangers. They've made these look like the 1995 ones from when we were kids. Uh, a bit pricey here as well. You weren't going to make much coin from them. But if you were a collector and going to put them on the shelves, I recommend uh, going to Toy Mate and grabbing those. And um, setting yourself up with some cool Power Rangers for your shelves. Get some uh, cool 90s retro action. Here yeah, we got Tom and Jerry. I reckon these would have sold pretty uh, good at, at, at the time when the movie came out. Unfortunately, the movie's been out for a good couple of months now, so I wouldn't bother purchasing that. Um, these are pretty damn cool for $20. Uh, Super Mario figures, if you're a uh, big Super Nintendo fan, um, you can grab some of these at the store, which is pretty cool. And if you collect all the uh, game stuff and you've got a game area, not bad at all. It's, uh, I love the Mario Kart uh, figures down here. They were pretty cool. They were cheaper. They were $15. Um, I would have got the Donkey Kong one, but the Donkey Kong one was $10 broken because someone has already opened it and stole the little parts out of it. I actually would have brought the Donkey Kong one because I always use Donkey Kong in uh, in uh, the old uh, Nintendo 64 version. Geo Joe is something that you would really should consider uh, buying at the moment because uh, the new movie coming out very soon, new Ninja Turtles line, hate it, don't even want to look at it. That's not April, that's meant to be April, fuck no, no, let's move on. John Deere, uh, you've heard Diary of a Flipper talk about John Deere stuff before. Uh, this is brand new, John Deere tractors, and there's a whole big section of John Deere merchandise uh, here in the toy store, which is uh, pretty damn cool. So if you like that, uh, that stuff sells pretty good. Uh, well, the trucker hats and all that do anyway. This looks like my dog Alice. Uh, we got Bluey, pretty expensive actually, $35. There's Bluey down there, Bluey stuff goes pretty good. And uh, it looks like Alice on top there. She would have loved to have had that. Uh, this Monopoly is pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool with the old Ghostbusters theme song. Plays the Ghostbusters theme song. We're gonna get done for copyright. Uh, this will go off. It was a bit expensive, too expensive for my blood, but uh, not bad at all. I had a freaky uh, situation here with this doll started coming alive. Why? It's creepy. Yep. Too creepy. That doll should not be allowed to do that. Take the batteries out of it. Uh, Beast Wars. There's a rumor that they're making a Transformers Beast Wars movie. So be on the lookout in the future for Beast Wars. Uh, Megatron, Optimus Prime. There he is there as the big gorilla. Freaking awesome. All right, let's get out of here. Too many toys, too many wants. Well, I didn't find the Ultimate Warrior figure that I was looking for, the Royal Rumble new figure. Uh, 
unfortunately, but I did get a couple of things uh, to resell off or maybe collect. But uh, let's go back to the house and uh, show you what I got. Uh, it's only a couple of items, but let's go back and have a look. So we picked up three items from the toy hunt. Three items from the toy hunt. The first one was Ric Flair versus the Giant. Or you can call him the Big Show, or you can call him Paul White, whatever you want to fucking call him. This is so sweet. $30, $30. It's so, oh man. The face on the Big Show looks so lifelike. Same with Ric Flair, that looks really cool. And that's definitely the 1993. I'd say 1993 or 1994 Ric Flair. I think in 1990. Actually, it might even be 95 Ric Flair. Whoa, here we go. See, that was wrong. April. April 29th, 1996, WCW was where the big boys played. The title was held by the dirtiest player in the game, Ric Flair. Woo! The nature boy pulled out every trick in the book to take down the big man, but it just wasn't enough to stop the unstoppable giant. This is when he won the world championship and they did not add the world title in there. How disappointing. Very disappointing WWE to do that. Anyway, if I was to sell this, I'm probably gonna keep this. If I was to sell this now on the market, I paid $30, you're only gonna get about 40 to 50, mainly 40, mainly 40. So if you keep this for a while and don't, don't have a go in the comments for me saying this, but eventually when Ric Flair passes away, which, could be in the next five years he's getting on. Uh, <clears throat> this will go up in value big time. So I'm gonna keep this in my collection, but for the sake of the kitty, we will say that um, if we were to sell it now, we'll go 40, 50 dollars. So we'll say the 50 bucks. I wouldn't recommend going out to buy it. Just sell it straight away. Unless you're gonna put it away and put it in your collection. Next up, we've got the Bray Wyatt versus Daniel Bryan double pack as well. November 24th, 2019 is this uh, replica right here. Why did The Fiend attack Daniel Bryan? Uh, was it to scare him? Was it to play with him? Whatever reason, when Daniel Bryan challenged The Fiend for the Universal Championship of Survival Series, Bray Wyatt had three words for him. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very disappointed again because if this was the Universal title match, from Survivor Series 2019, where's the Universal Championship WWE? Why didn't you put it in the pack? That's disappointing as well. Uh, but the Fiend stuff in the past for me has sold really good, so I would actually recommend, because you won't find this, this is hard to find. Um, I'd recommend buy this and put this away. This one costs $30. And uh, at the moment, you could probably get about 60 to $70 for it on eBay. But I would actually hold this for a while and wait for everyone to sell out and then try and get a hundred more than a hundred bucks for it. So very happy with that. Um, so we'll say at the moment, for selling time, uh, 70 bucks-ish for the kitty. But I'm gonna keep this one for a long, long time, I think. Also, we got this uh, official collector's board for five dollars. Um, we're hoping to get some Pelicans uh, stuff, a uh, little thing in there. So let's open it up. This is not worth anything. To oh, this is actually worth ten dollars to resell. So we'll put the five dollars in the kitty. So it comes with this is a like unboxing, arm opening. Okay, so that's what it's supposed to look like. You can get all your jerseys there's your board where you put all the uh, Western and Eastern Conference in there let's see what figures we got oh they're in packets too all right we got this one first fingers crossed we get pelicans fingers crossed we get pelicans ready the Spurs okay we got the Spurs San Antonio Spurs it's gonna be nothing not worth anything I'm not gonna sell it not gonna sit in there apparently. 
don't know how it sits in there, but anyway. Oh, hold on. It's got a pair of shorts. It's got a pair of shorts. Is there anything else in there? Oh, it does. There we go. We got uh, a stand. So that, oh, that's how it stands in there. So we got the stand as well. So we got the Spurs. All right, let's see what we can get. Who knows? We might get Boston. We might get Boston Celtics for Drew. For our boy Drew. Let's have a look here. There's the stand. Gri oh, I thought it was the Pelicans then for a minute. So we got the Memphis Grizzlies. Memphis Grizzlies. Pretty plain old boring freaking jersey there. Let me get that out. So, you know, for, for five bucks, you're gonna make another five dollars not worth buying at all, but for the fun of uh, trying to find my team, was it worth it? Fuck yeah, that was worth it. That was fun. I like opening fucking shit like that. We've got Spurs and Memphis. Five dollars down the drain. Just for the hell of it, if we sold these, everything that we brought right now, we we spent we spent sixty-five dollars altogether. Thirty, thirty, and five, thirty, sixty-five dollars. If we were to sell all this today, bring up that kitty, kitty. If we were to sell all this today, and it probably would sell pretty much straight away, maybe not the basketball thing. Uh, but uh, how much would we get, Kitty? $130. We would turn our $65 into $130. Not bad at all, actually. So basically, doubling, you will double your money. So if you feel like going out and doubling your money um, and just doing some quick RA flip, you go do that. Um, for me, I am got Kitty, fuck off. Fuck off, Kitty. Fucking still there, you little prick. For me, I'm gonna hold on to this stuff um, and get more money down the track because that's what I do. Because, woo! The nature boy says so. Thanks, guys. Uh, check out all my other content. Glad you've joined me, rejoined me uh, for all the people that have um, and that uh, did unsubscribe and now back again. Thank you for coming back. Uh, like, subscribe, thumbs up. Uh, all that other jazz, all, that was also before fees and taxes, if I didn't say that, um, before fees and taxes, so don't forget that. Okay guys, see you next episode, soon!